In the previous demo, we saw how to set up uh, SQL tools to be used within uh, Visual Studio Code for development against uh, Snowflake, writing SQL against Snowflake. If you write a lot of SQL, every now and then you might run into situations where the SQL code doesn't look really good and people might not like you committing code or submitting code into a version control that looks something like this. It's not readable. It could really be annoying to have this. The common question is, how do you take a code like this and format it in a consistent templatized way that people can, can read? This is where another extension comes into play. There might be other extensions, but one of the common ones is called SQL Fluff. Do you want to search for SQL Fluff? Essentially SQL Fluff is a linter. It works with, with SQL tools, formatting SQL. Once you have this, go ahead and install SQL Fluff. This will be another extension that you have. If I go back to my instance here, where I'm writing some queries against uh, Snowflake, and we can definitely want to look at linting this or beautifying this. So I can go ahead and select this, right click. Now, because I have that extension installed, I can say format code. The code looks formatted and it's, it's good. This is uh, just a little nifty extension that you can use, especially if you're doing a lot of SQL work to keep your code nice before you commit into Git so, um, or into source control so other people can actually read it. There is a linting for SQL, as we've seen, there is linting for Python or whatever language you're using. There's probably a linting extension for that. Now you might say there are different, uh, languages or different origins of SQL, like ANSI SQL or Hive or MySQL. I'm assuming that you're working with Snowflake here, which also has some unique characteristics of the SQL. The beauty about this extension is you can also specify those, the specific platform so that the SQL can be customized to that. The way you're going to do that within this, you can go into preferences uh, from either way, go into, into settings. Uh, you want to look for extensions, just browse down. I have a couple of extensions here, search for SQL fluff and here you want to select the dialect. These are the different languages for me, because I'm doing a Snowflake development. I'm going to have to select uh, Snowflake there and save it. When the linting happens, it's using the unique characteristics of uh, Snowflake in this case for that. But you can either do that from the drop down or edit the JSON setting here to put in more custom uh, settings you might need. Just another option to have under other more advanced configurations around this. I'm just kind of skipping through that, but I just wanted to bring this extension to notice SQL fluff. It just helps with linting and making uh, your code looks uh, a lot uh, readable. Hopefully this was helpful. Uh, this has been through. Thanks for watching. If you like this, please uh, like it and share it with somebody that might get value out of it. If you have any questions, leave that in the comment section below and I'll see what I can do. Thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next demo.